In Tuskegee, Alabama during the 1930s, 399 poor black men with syphilis were studied without their knowledge or consent and withheld treatment for decades. The experiment continued until the 1970s when it was revealed in the press and shut down. Of those 399 black men in the study, 100 or more died of syphilis or related complications. Others went blind. At least 40 of their wives were infected and 19 children contracted it during childbirth. Omar Neal is a former mayor of Tuskegee, Alabama. His uncle and other relatives were part of the study. These, these were people that, that I grew up with and, and to know that what happened to them, the egregious nature by which they were treated, just really uh, was disheartening. One legacy of the Tuskegee study, distrust in the U.S. government and the medical establishment by some black Americans, and that showing up as reluctance to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Now, Neil and other descendants of the Tuskegee subjects are speaking out to say COVID vaccines are not the same as Tuskegee, hoping to get more African Americans vaccinated. Tuskegee and COVID-19 are two different things. In fact, if you think about it, those men would have loved to have had the vaccine. We can't do this by ourselves. In order Neil and other Tuskegee family members are featured in a new series of public service videos aimed at the black community. Too many people are using the study as a way of causing their own selves to deny access to vaccines that would save their lives. The videos address common misconceptions about the Tuskegee study that are being cited as reasons to skip the COVID vaccine. And one of them is the fact they think the men were injected with syphilis and they were not. The voices in these videos hope to fight misinformation with facts while acknowledging the very real concerns many African Americans have based on what happened at Tuskegee. We understand clearly that the government has done some really bad things, but do not die because of a lie. Neil also felt it was important for people to see him getting vaccinated, so he posted this video of himself getting the jab. We want you to live. And we believe the best way we can do that is by advocating for you to take the vaccine. And ensure that the Tuskegee study doesn't do any more harm to black people in America. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Bethesda, Maryland.